Well, all right, friends, subscribers, and internet strangers, what's up? I know y'all are all excited for another Bearded Picker Ships video. I've only got three items to ship, so I'm going to ship the three items, tell you about them, tell you what I pay for them, and then there's going to be a lesson on how to cut a priority box. Can you alter a priority box? Can you alter a flat rate priority box? Find out the answer to this question and more in this exciting episode of Bearded Picker Ships. All right, so here we go. First off, uh, I stuck this over here today because some of you guys are worried about me having to walk over there. You know, heaven forbid the big beer gets some exercise, right? <laughs> okay, so we sold this guy. We called it from Amazon because something happened. It was a potential IP claim. I don't know if it was Honda, if it was Hot Wheels, who was pissed off about it, but I sold it on, I sold it on eBay. I've got three or four of them. I've got, I got to get the rest on the list, listed, and I've lost my phone in this crazy ass building. I have lost my phone to tell you what it was, to what I saw. I just heard it beep. Phone, phone. Never mind, I did not lose my phone. Look, there it is. Okay, so the Leapfrog game, $8.99 plus $12.95 shipping. I paid a quarter for it. It was in the bag of five for a dollar, or so I paid 20 cents. The Hot Wheels car, I paid $1.27 at Walmart. I got $4.99 plus $4.95 shipping, so I'll make a few dollars on the shipping. Um, so that's not a big win, but since I already had it back, month, I already paid for it and needed to sell it. I still made money on it, so I don't like selling small stuff like this. But the one thing I'll tell you is just because you have IP issues on Amazon does not mean anything. Sell it on eBay. Uh, too many. And then when we get done, I'm going to show you how to ship this in, in a. See how skinny this box is? We're going to ship. We're going to get this fat box and that skinny box. For those who don't remember, at the yard sales early this season, I ran into a Nike rep who had a bunch of, he represented the girls' basketball teams in the area, and, and the school, basically the schools. So I have some of these basketball shoes left. Uh, I think I have six pairs left. I've been trying to sell them for, I don't know, coming up on a year now. But I got such a great deal, I think I paid... I think, about, I think I'll, I'll link the video right here of me picking these up. Uh, it just happened to be a Nike rep. I gave her my card. So hopefully this April she'll call me again when her husband says get rid of all the shoes. Because she didn't like having a yard sale. I bought the soccer balls too. They're right here somewhere. I've sold half of those. And I bought something else. I bought a bunch of Nike stuff at that, at that lady's yard sale. So you can find stuff at Nike. I didn't feel comfortable. No receipt. So they're, they're going to... Uh, I've been selling them on eBay. Easily got my money back. I paid $150 for them. And the first... The shoes were selling for like $53 a pair. I think I had 10 or 12 in them. So, uh, yeah, so the money's way back. Just trying to get rid of this. But I'm going to use this as an example. Unfortunately, we have not sold them. <laughs> Sometimes things are slow. So, the leapfrog game here. I know this is, this is difficult, right? A lot of this is about having the right tools and the right packaging. Uh, so, yeah. All right, we're done. Don't have to weigh it. Remember, anything from one ounce to four ounces goes the same on first class. So I just put three ounces, even though it's nowhere close. Uh, so I've already pre-sized this box because I the packaging is longer than the four by four by six that I was hoping to use. Uh, so I have to use the six by six by six. This is a brand new box I just ordered. It was in one of the last videos. As you can see, six by six by six. So we're gonna, I guess we'll get like, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a 12 inch piece of tape. And that'll give three inches on each side. Hey, sometimes a couple inches makes a difference. <laughs> Put your own joke in there. <laughs> every time, 
every time I do a video, this one starts beeping. It's like clockwork. People go, oh, wait a minute. Beard must be recording. So it won't fit the long way. It won't fit. The, but if you put it diagonal up like that, it does fit. So we're going to get some tissue paper. And I did not buy Walgreens tissue paper this time because I still have like 15 packs. <laughs> So yeah, maybe I'll up my eBay game and, and use some of this stuff. But since we just went into a new pack, I don't, I'm not using the roll paper over there because the roll is kind of heavy and I need something that's, it just takes up space and I don't want it to bend it. So when you crinkle this around, you just need it so it, it doesn't move in the box. So the lighter paper for weight and then the, the paper that won't, won't hurt the packaging of the, of the Hot Wheels car. So a lot of people collect these Hot Wheels cars and you never can assume what your customer is going to collect it or play with it. So that's why this is not in a bubble mailer because I've seen enough of what Amazon does returning them in the bubble mailers, what happens to them. This will be fine. You know, a Hot Wheels car, but the plastic will get crushed. Six ounces. Got to wait for the little thing. Five five. Hot Wheels. Uh, these were a good one. I picked these up at the flea market in Nashville. I paid five dollars for the pair. <laughs> You're thinking beer, no touch in the lifestyle. Why would you pay five dollars for that? I'm, I'm glad you asked, audience. Man, glad you asked. Should have looked this up when I had them here. Dude, come on. Of course, now I don't want the phone to go fast. It won't go fast. I got $39.95 uh, plus $7.95 shipping. <laughs> Was there anybody out there thinking, I bet the beard got $48 shipped for these? Uh, no. Since this is priority, we're going to go ahead and use the priority boxes. I try to use the priority boxes time that it ships priority because that that means I don't have to pay for the box uh, so that's it that's a box right there you should have these boxes are free but most time this size is not in the post office for some reason um, it's a square box it's uh, or pretty close to square seven by seven by six it is absolutely uh, man I, I put a lot of small items in here and uh, it, this one is this one does two things. It packs small items that are heavy. It also qualifies for cubic shipping on pirate ship. Uh, seven by seven by six is is a really good. All right, Th these don't matter. Oh, we better get some paper crumpled up. We just don't want them to move around. So yeah, we'll... those are the rest of those six plus six boxes. They're going up on the top shelf with the other ones. All right, so there we go. This is, don't worry, the magic is about to happen. The magic of YouTube, we're gonna show you how to get that big shoe box of women's shoes that I've had forever into a box. You guys are worth me to store in one box, right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I need to weigh because they're going to ask you the weight. I, the dimensions are easy. It's 7 by 7 by 6 Nice thing about postal boxes is they tell you somewhere on the box the inner dimensions and the outer dimensions. So, uh, one pound, 12 ounces. This is so. They're going to have some, they're gonna have some expensive hand soaps, all I got to say. But that's all right. If that's what they want, you know, they, they might go. Why do you have that expensive cell phone or two of them? Well, that's what you're into what you're in, and hey, that's good, right? It helps give me a reason to talk to you and gives me a, 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 a pretty decent level. So, what we're going to do is I need to mark how much of this, the width part I need. Do it on the, see where the box bends, the joint there. I'm, I'm going to keep that joint. So I'm going to measure this on the side opposite that joint. We're just going to, I'm going to turn it over because the lip, it's got a little bit of a lip. 
it's a, that side's wider, so I'll turn it over there. So I'm just gonna make a line. And since the box is not as long as the other box. Okay, so this is the important part. Do the same thing on the other side. You got to flip it over because see the joint right there? You can see it. You want to do it on the edge that doesn't have the bend on it. So, and I didn't, I stole this. I, I watched a video and saw this. But I thought this was so amazing that I, that I use this a lot. All right. So now you need something to score it with. I'm going to use this. Uh, one, of the, one of the viewers sent me this knife that has a score, to, score wheel on it. So let's let's turn this down. So, so all basically I'm just gonna score. You can use the other end of the knife. You just have to be don't cut it all the way through. Um, I'll give you a link to some of these score wheels and knives like this in the description below. They make these things on just a little handle. You could, but since this is the one I have, uh, this is a great box cutter. This is the one. This this is one of my favorite box cutters. So I'm gonna before I lose it, I'm gonna attach it to this table so it doesn't go anywhere. So basically, I'm just going right down the line because now, now you've made the next joint. So now fold it up. Uh oh, see how much, see how much wider this box is now. Hold on. See how much wider it is on this side. Do the same thing on the other side. All right. So now we've got the box that. Oh my goodness, beer! You are a genius. Well, I watch YouTube videos. <laughs> Once I figure out, I can start doing it. If I see somebody else that has a great idea, I will steal it. <laughs> uh, so the, you got to cut the opposite corners out. Just cut them down to the to the ledge there. So we're just going to fold them in like it was a regular box. Uh, I'm going to take the tape off to one side because that's, that's still there. It doesn't have a lot to attach to because you've cut part of the... All right, so this... This box is now uh, 10 inches wide. So we'll get a we'll get a 20 inch piece of tape. That'll give me some room on both sides. I see there's a little bit of a gap, but using the paper tape covers that gap up pretty good right there, right? And when it dries, there won't be any gummy on the inside. Do the same thing on the other end. Cut the uh, the two corners out of the new sides. All right, so we're gonna let's see if this works. <laughs> Here. Look at there. I'm not going to seal that side up because I'm not, I'm going to put these back on the shelf. <laughs> I just got to put a little bit of paper to keep from moving around and we're all set. I get a lot of comments and I, if you, if this is the first time you've seen this, let me know in the comments below. Beard, I watch your videos and I learn something every time. There are a lot of people that are going to learn this and they're going to go, Oh, you can alter these boxes. Um, I will put a screenshot here of the DMM. Even if your post office goes, oh, you're not allowed to. According to their own rules, the DMM, which is their, somebody tell me what that means. It's the, it's the, it's the inter, it's the rules of the post office. You can Google it. Uh, Google f altering a flat rate post office DMM and it'll come right up. I'm a link. Uh, I can't put a file, but I'll show it to you and I'll, I'll leave it for like 10 seconds. So you can, you can skim down or you pause the video and read it. That clearly says if you alter one of these boxes, even a flat rate or a regular rate, you're still paying weight and distance. It's just a priority box. You're, it goes from the one thing I would tell you is if it is a flat rate box, take the marker that you're using and mark that out. So there's not a lot of confusion. You know, that, that kind of helps. You know, some post offices go, oh, you're not allowed to alter them all. That's why you might need to print that out and take it with you and lay it to them and go. I'm sorry, these are your rules. You are wrong. And a lot of times we know more than they do. So I hope this helps. I hope this makes it where as you've got more of these flatter boxes that don't seem to be worth a lot, um, you can actually change the shape of them to be more square, to be more anything. This this ends up being... 
because the shoe box is no good for that box because the shoe box is the same width as the other box so you can't cram them in there's no extra room to cut off but this box here i'll give you the number on it. all the boxes have numbers on them this is a damn make me a liar <laughs> this is the ps bunch of zeros this is the 20 box i forget it does have a number um the dimensions on it are it's a 1095 isn't isn't the box i use the 1092 which is it's the same one it's just a little skinnier this one is a uh this was a 1097 it is it's a let it's 11 and a half by 2 by 13 and a half this one is 12 and a half by 3.1 by 15 so it's it's longer and wider and there's one that's in the middle and then you can get the big game box i don't have the game box this one's a 1092 that 1095 and 1097 this one is 12.25 by 2.9 by 13.7 something like that so i have them all it just depends on you know sometimes you don't need to alter them sometimes you do and to alter for to alter for this shoe box i needed there's not any room width wise so i needed every every part of this box so i needed the big one so all right so i hope that hope your shipping lesson today was uh just fun and entertaining <laughs> i try to make these entertaining i try to make you laugh but there's only so much you can do with uh with shipping see you in the next one Roll Tide, and all that good stuff. Hope you're having a great beginning to 2020. Again, Roll Tide. You can't have too many of those in one day. Peace out.